Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. It is a gorgeous day, a little overcast, kind of humid. Look at my hair, it's all flying all over the place. I am out here, I'm happy to say, at the Dickinson County Nature Center, and I'm talking to Bree Coolman, who is the environmental educator right here, as I said, at the Nature Center. And uh, first of all, welcome. Thank you for taking time with me. Thank you for having us. Wow, what a setup. You know, the last time I was in here uh, interviewing uh, and it, it was cold, yeah. it was snowy, and it was pre-COVID. Yes. So there was, you know, all these things going on, but it was cold. And I, yeah. I, I thought at that time, Bree, I can't wait to stand outside and look around here. Yes. Yeah, indeed. Hey, let's talk about, uh, here's exciting news. Uh, first planned, uh, or first uh, your family uh, program. It is a, a family program. It's going to be on Friday. Yep. July 24th. What is that exactly? So on Friday, July 24th, we are going to have our first family nature night of the summer. We are going to be talking about geocaching and we're going to have our family set out on an adventure. It'll look slightly different than our regular family nature nights. Uh, there will be some rules, if you will, will encourage social distancing. The staff will be wearing masks. Um, and then um, instead of finding caches, we are going to set up some sort of mat and encourage families to take selfies when they find the cache and then show us the selfies when they return for some sort of small prize for your family to take home with you. Uh, and we're really excited. Uh, we ask that you register for the program, but uh, Ashley and I are truly excited to be able to welcome some people onto Can You Park and and the nature center grounds to do some formal programming so yeah call hey, in and register hey you feel like you've been waiting for this for we a long been. time yes yeah. yes <laughs> so again that's on the, the friday the 24th yep. just uh, about a week and a half away yep, here at 7 p.m at 7 p.m so how do they uh register with so you so you can just call into the nature center and either ashley or i will answer the phone and just sign up with us or you can shoot me an email i know a lot of our your viewers probably already have my email so and, and this is such a i think being able to do things as a family where you you learn a little bit you get outdoors you enjoy what you're doing and then you know, to do the yep. whole thing of being out there. That, that's special times, and I can see why you've missed being able to lead these activities. Yes, Bree. yes. Yeah. So uh, we also have, now you had told me, you've got a couple tentative. I, I've been using these a lot when mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about things that are scheduled, the, the quotation marks. Yes. But you've got a couple uh, rotating family activities yeah. in Can You Park. We do. So right now we have two word on scrambles, one uh, near the purple martin's nest. Uh, and that, the question is, what is Bree's favorite animal? And so there are 12 letters to find in on scramble. And then the one over by the came just behind us, that is what is Miss Ashley's favorite pollinator food. And that is 10 letters. And then at the end of the week, we're going to be switching out to a no pick scavenger hunt um, where you can either digitally upload a um, scavenger hunt and you can go find the different prairie flowers in the prairie and up on the cane. Um, or you can pick up a sheet we'll have on the front patio here, on the front deck here, so. I like how you use the incentive of getting out, using your mind. Yes. Enjoying what we have here. Yes. And and then we find out your favorites too. Yes. You know, I mean, that that's pretty important to know that uh, as you move down the line, what your favorites are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just want to talk about, I think it's so innovative uh, with the doors being closed and everything, Bree, you have taken, really, you've taken social media to a, a cool level that you guys, you, you do. I, I love your nature newscast, sitting at the table, you know, it, it, it's like watching the CBS Evening News, yeah. you know, except you're more fun. Yeah, a they're, little more fun. They're, they're talking about really sad stuff. You're yeah. talking about happy, good learning stuff. Yeah. And, and as well as your, you've got your new nature facts. Mm -hmm. that I, I, I love seeing those. And then we talked about your, your word unscramble as well. Yeah. Is that something that you guys kind of work on together and hey, oh, we could talk about yes. this. Yes. So Ashley and I work very closely together in collaborating with all these activities. Um, and we try and keep it fresh. So during school, we made a different educational video Monday through Friday mm -hmm. until I think the end of the first week of June. Okay. And then we switched over to the nature newscast and we may switch it again to some sort of video education just so you guys don't get bored with one format <laughs> or another. We like to keep it fresh. So just keep watching us on Facebook, Instagram. And we even made a TikTok over COVID times just 
for a little extra fun so you can find us on TikTok as well. You you got into the whole TikTok we, thing. We're working now. on it. I wouldn't say we're TikTok pros yet, but they're pretty fun. I know I've seen a lot of TikToks. A lot of them aren't pros, but boy, they see, sure seem to be having fun doing it. Yes, right. yes. And you know, when we talk about the Nature Center, and I, I think we we talk we think about the, the physical location of mm -hmm. the building, which is 10 years Yes. I mean, it was 2010, and yep. you know you weren't around here then, but I can remember when this thing was moved in here, and Barbara Tagami uh, was so excited about actually having a physical setting yes. and what it has turned into. So, but you know, as I look around and I see families out there uh, by, by the nature playscape, yes. and and you have so many attributes that as a family, as an individual, as a, a small group, staying apart from each other, can come out and enjoy really a whole different aspect of the Iowa Great Lakes. Yes. And let's just talk about some of the things we Excellent. see here behind us and to the side. Well, I, I may be biased, but I think we have a beautiful property. We have about 75 acres now that we own the um, where the old county building used to be, and that's being turned into a rental lodge currently. It's being it's pretty much built, but we got to put some finishing touches on. Um, but I really love our um, property because it has a lot of different ecosystem types. So we have the prairie, we have the wetland behind us, we have a glacier came, and then we have a bur oak savanna, um, which for those of you who don't know, oak is the state tree of Iowa. And between all of those three ecosystems, you can find something that everyone enjoys. We have our swans on our, our wetlands, we have our beautiful prairie flowers, and then we have the nice shaded area of our bur oaks on um, that people can go out and enjoy uh, disc golf it through our bur oak savanna um, and we have our playscape as well um, which we're working on renovating a little but it's definitely still usable uh, so we encourage you to go use it um, and just forgive us as we work on improving it and making it better well it always every, the only constant in life is change and you just keep tweaking yes. things like i said I, I see a whole family over there in the playscape yeah. having a great time so it's obviously very functional right now yes and you know you can drive here you can bike here mm -hmm. and of course the the trails dickinson county trails yes. bring you right, right here right here so it's and you know uh i know and you do such a great job. I just have to commend you on uh, your Facebook and so forth. But the uh, website itself mm -hmm. uh, is very informative, very interactive. Yes. You guys do a great job with that, too. Thank you. Uh, now, if people would like to find out more, and if they, you know, for the, like we said, the first family program is on Friday, July 24th, 7 p.m. Yes. Contact them, get set up for that, make it a great night, build memories with your family, come out here to the Nature Center. But... For anything else, if they want to get on the website, what is that, Brianna? Uh, you can look up Dickinson County Nature Center website, and if you go to contact us, you can find my contact information, so you can either call or message me, um, or Ashley Hansen also is a wealth of information as well. So. Very good. Well, I thank you for taking time and sharing the Nature Center with me, and, uh, and you know what? It's almost as if the clouds are opening up. That, they uh, are. That the, Nature is happy that we got out here and talked about it. Yes, I think so. Thank you for coming out today. I hope you enjoyed it. I do. I always do coming out here, Brianna, and we look forward to seeing you again real soon. Yes, thank you, Jeff. Bree uh, Coolman here with us from the Dickinson County Nature Center. Get on the website, follow them on their social media. They are so good at it, everybody. We thank Bree for being with us. We thank you, as always, for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff The is brought to you in part by the headquarters of the University of Okaboji is at the Three Suns, open Monday through Saturday 10 to 5 and Sunday noon to 4. Last Touch Painting and Cleaning, providing interior, exterior, and house painting and professional cleaning services in Spirit Lake. Okaboji Mattress Company, one mile west of the junction of Highway 9 and 71 in Spirit Lake. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. And Ducky's Marine and Motorsports Repair in Spirit Lake. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Brands Law Office in Spirit Lake. Ruthman Locker, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. Back Engineering in Spirit Lake. B Radiant Laser Skin Studio, newly located in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. And by Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services. Advisors Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman, and Erica Walkholes.